Malaysia Airlines jet MH17 was hit by Ukrainian missile. In a video posted on the internet, a former Ukrainian army surgeon says the controversial book surfaced to air missile system that purportedly downed Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 belonged to the Ukrainian armed forces. According to the serviceman, when the Malaysian Boeing crashed, Ukraine tried to attribute the system to the self-defense forces or the Russian army. This is definitely a Ukrainian book. I personally know this machine. The book picture that I sent from Luga showed the Jubilania coal mine in the background. The military unit is in the town of Metalist. It was ridiculous when Kyiv said the book belonged to the Russian or self-defense forces, the surgeon said. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov said on Tuesday that he wanted to quit his high state post and leave for Ukraine's Donbas region to help the local militias. Commanding on initiation of criminal proceeding against him in Ukraine and Kyiv threats to put him on the international one at least, Kadyrov told NTV's Biskupur program that they could keep wagging their tongues for as long as they like. They can keep saying whatever they like, but I am going to ask the president for permission to quit my post in order to go to Donbas to protect the interests of of those citizens who are fighting there now, Kadyrov said. Anti-Russian hysteria only harms Europe's interests, authoritative Italian journalist and former member of the European Parliament Giulietta Chiesa, who was arrested in Estonia on Monday and then ordered to leave the country, said on Tuesday, I am here not to advocate Russia's interests. Hysteria against Russia has nothing to do with Europe's interests, it's against them, he told in a news conference before leaving Tallinn. We remember Chiesa arrived in the Estonian capital city Tallinn early on Monday to take part in a conference dedicated to the the relations between Russia and Europe, but was arrested in his hotel with no reasons given. Later, the police said he was staying in Estonia illegally, since he had been banned from entering that country. The NATO military alliance is not Moscow's enemy, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told French media that suggested the opposite. Lavrov also expressed disappointment over the fact that Russia had overestimated AU's independence from the US. Speaking to France 24 in Moscow, Lavrov stated that the military doctrine of the country never mentioned that NATO is Russia's enemy, even though the French media suggested that there is such an impression in the Western world. What Russia's military doctrine says is that the security risk for Russia, among other things, are NATO expansion to the east and movement of military infrastructure of NATO closer to the Russian borders. Not NATO itself, but its militarized movement to the east is considered by Russian military doctrine as a security risk and threat for Russia, he said. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.